Jesus, 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 my God. If there's a mouth to pray, there's a God to answer. You can't be in this your station and expect an answer from God. It's impossible. him for what he has done for us from the beginning of the year he has not been easy but he has taken us thus far he has taken us thus far he is able to see how far you brought me begin to tell me Lord thank you Jesus for bringing me this far it has only been you all through my life Open your mouth and tell the Lord, if not for your grace, if not for your mercies, I don't think I'll be among the living this morning. I don't think I'll be counted among those that are standing here. Open your mouth with that same spirit and appreciate it. In the name of Jesus. We we'll worship you, our Father, for you alone deserve our praise. You alone deserve our worship. In that same atmosphere, just begin to lift up your hands and begin to bless the name of the Lord. We King of Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, in Him we live, in Him we move, in Him we have our being. Just begin to open your mouth and appreciate the Most High God. For he alone deserves our worship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. And forever you are God. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. Papa. Of Shalom, you are home. And forever you are home. How are you, my young? How are you, my dear God? How are you, my young? How are you, my day of God? He was a man that's in a How are you, my day of God? Oh, you are glorious. You are 
Karibi de go, Jio ba Karibi de go de go. Karibi de go, Jio ba Karibi de go de go de go. Oya Karibi de go, Jio ba Karibi de go de go de go. Karibi de go, Jio ba Karibi de go de go de go. Oya lift me aya, Jio ba lift me aya aya. Oh, we are going. 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 Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh yeah, 
Oba to n gbado bale oba ni Oba to n gbado bale oba Oba to n gbado bale oba Emi se ka bi esi re oba to n gbado bale o Oba to n gbado bale oba Oba to n gbado bale oba Oba to n gbado bale oba Emi se ka bi esi Oh ya da E ma ba mi ra baba Hallelujah, eh? He's the son of victory. He's the son of victory. Hey. Hallelujah. 
God. It's time to take our Bible reading, and our Bible reading for today's youth service is taken from the book of Philippians 4, from verses 6 to 9, and we'll also be looking at the book of Romans 12, 1 and 2, but I'll start first with the Philippians 4, 6 to 9. I'll be reading from the King James Version. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. I thought I would hear a loud amen. amen. And our second Bible reading for today, Romans 12, 1 to 2. Romans 12, 1 to 2. And I read from the King James Version. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. May the Lord bless the hearing and the reading of his word in Jesus' name. 
Uh, we'll be moving on to today's youth confession. As we are familiar, we usually have our youth uh, I mean, confession every youth service. So I would like us to just rise. Is it, has it been projected yet? Can you see the screen? Okay, please let's rise as we take it together. Are we ready? We are not ready. Are we ready? <laughs> okay, one, two, go. I declare that I have been raised with Christ. Therefore, I set my heart only on the promises of God to me. I continually gaze at whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, and confirmed by God's word. I do not confirm to the pattern of this world, but I choose to be transformed by the renewing of my mind through the help of the word of God, which enables me to work in God's good, pleasing and perfect will for me. I will continually meditate and train my mind to believe all that God's word says about me. I choose to shape my life through the instrument of God's word and his spirit. I declare that I am forever a winner in all that I do. Amen. As we have declared this morning, it shall be established unto every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Please let us be seated. Amen. Let us all rise to our feet to worship the name of the Most High God. If it's good to you, rise to your feet. He has been good to us. <clears throat> he has kept us. Lift up, lift up your voices and begin to bless him. Say, God, you are good. Say, God, you are great. Say, I thank you. I've come to worship you. Begin to bless him. Lord, I worship you this way. And that's why I've come to say thank you. The Lord is good. I will lift him up higher. Anywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. Is that your confession this morning? The Lord is good. Let me get the witness in the house. Lift him up if he's good. Everywhere I go, I will lift you up. I will lift him up. If the Lord is good to you, can you sing that song one more time? The Lord.
To him who sits on the throne and on to the land, to him. Who sits on the throne and unto the land be blessings and glory and honor and power forever? Be blessings and glory and honor and power forever. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you. We want to thank you for this time in your presence. Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, that you come down and fellowship with us in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh Lord God Almighty, that you speak to us yourself in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh Lord God Almighty, that you come and transform our lives in the name of Jesus. And your name alone will be lifted high in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Are there youths in this house? I don't think so. Are there youths in this house? I said, let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. I'd like to thank the pastorate and the youth leadership for this privilege to share with the people of God. This morning, we are going to be gisting. It's going to be an interaction. We are not preaching. We are talking to ourselves. So, and our theme for this month is building a positive thinking and a right attitude for life. Building positive thinking and life and the right attitude for life. Let's open our Bible to the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17 to 24. Ephesians 4, 17 to 24. I want us to follow closely. It reads, This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Who being past feeling, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to walk all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ but ye have not so learned Christ. If so, be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, 
which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Praise the Lord. This is a charge to, let's say someone that is just coming into the knowledge of Christ. We just use, it, use this to set a foundation for where we are going. Nowadays, a lot of people just profess to be Christians, profess to be children of God on the leap. And that's where it ends. But behavior-wise, character-wise, we are totally different. We are miles apart. As children of God, we need to have a right attitude. We need to have a positive mind. And it's something that is going to be intentional. It's something that you have to want to have. Okay, so let me, just, let, let, me, let me start like this. Let me start like this. So why, why do we feel like people tend to feel um, entitled? Why, why do youth of nowadays have this mindset of nobody can talk to me, I can do whatever it is I want whenever I want to? Let's ask, let's talk, let's talk. We are not, it's not uh, this thing. Please, somebody should take the mic around. Should I start calling names? So let's talk, let's talk to ourselves. As youth, why, why do we feel like the, the, the crop of people outside now have this, okay, let's, uh, the, the Gen Z. Uh, yes, the Gen Z um, generation, right? That feel like nobody can talk to you. You have, you have this very terrible attitude, like we are just, you know, you will do whatever you want to do and nothing will happen. Because if not, why would somebody wake up and be talking to somebody that is old enough to be his grandfather? All because we have, quote on unquote, social media. You have uh, what they call them, keypad warriors. You can say anything you want. So why 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 do we feel that that is a, a norm now? Let's talk. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I say lack of understand. Sir. Lack of understand. Okay, lack of understanding. Yes. Stack him. You're raising your hand. Well, for me, I think it's because these things have become acceptable, like every, in the society. Mm -hmm. It has become, become acceptable. Yes. And if you even speak against it, you are now even the bad person. Now, nah, yeah, we're getting somewhere. So, we feel like it has become a normal thing. They will tell you that, uh, this gener that, uh, that one is a time pass. But, no. Like we read, you say, that is, we have not so learned Christ. And we see that it's now beginning to creep also into church. We, de we, we lack honor. We lack respect. We, 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 I don't know how to put it now. That there's just that, this aura of pride, this aura of ego that, uh, what are these ones saying? Do you understand? And these are things that people see in us. These are people, these are, this is what people George us by. There's nothing you want to tell anybody about the Bible that they don't know. Let's not deceive ourselves. There's nothing you want to talk about of the Bible that nobody that the world does not know. Now, what they are looking at is you that you call yourself a Christian. What is your life like? What is your life like? How are you leading your life? What kind of attitude do you portray? In terms of when, when you are facing challenges or rough, tough situations, how do you assess it? What is your outward appearance? What is your manner of approach to these things? Positive mindset and a right attitude. Now, positive thinking, first, is based on faith and not our circumstances. Positive thinking is based on faith, it's not based on our circumstance. And we have examples in the Bible 
For instance, we can see the, the story of um, Joseph. How many people in this day and time will their brother sell them into slavery? And then by chance, you now happen to be in a, a, a place of power such that your siblings are not at your mercy. Don't let us lie you. Hmm. We are children of God. Are we? How many people will not exert that power on them? Let's talk now. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Somebody, somebody has hurt you. Like somebody has done something that is very, very painful to you. You now have the means to retaliate. Oh yeah, how many people will not retaliate? Raise up your hand if you will not retaliate. No, let, let us, raise up your hand if you will not retaliate. <laughs> me, as a person, me, 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 as well now, I'll have done it first. Before I remember that, okay, ah, it's a bad thing, oh, God have mercy. But I'll do it. No, no, let's be, let, don't let us be forming what is not. Those, these are examples of bad attitudes. It's an example of a bad attitude, a, 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 a bad mindset. That's what I am trying to point out. Yeah, we might want to form it because we're in church. I don't want to raise up my answer that they will not say that uh, this message is about me. I said it. I will do it. I cannot come back and say, okay, sorry, you, but you too, you did this, this, this. That's why me too. I did like this. But I will first of all do it. Do you understand? But is it a good thing to do? No. Does it, what kind of image does it portray of us? That is what should be and our mind. That's why I say it is not by circumstance, it is by faith. That was why we saw that through the li- throughout the life of Joseph, he, he was a typical of a, 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 a typical typical example of someone that went through trouble at every stage, at every stage, but still yet he kept on seeing the positives. He kept on seeing the positives. And it, this just goes to show how he built himself. It goes to tell how the kind of value he placed on himself. That's why I say it is by faith. So we must be willing to do the work, to believe in God so much so that we begin to mirror God. So much so that people see us and they are not seeing you, but they are seeing the image of God. When Moses went up to the mountains and he came down, they could not look at his face. He, because he carried the glory. I went for a camp meeting some, some years back with at um, Boko, with Billy Akon, um, students, um, students congress, what was it called then? So when some of our friends that didn't go with us were in Lagos. So when we came back, we just noticed that I was I was I was the first one that noticed that whenever we are gathering together or we are talking, they were not always able to look at us. And I'm always like so I had been noticing I so saw I spoke with other the people that we went together. I'm like, you know notice that whenever we come, people these people they are always and I call them, Oga, come, what happened? Why is that? We are together. You find it difficult to look at. Say you, 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 you don't go carry fire. Now. It sounded funny at the time. I didn't want, it, it didn't make sense to me then. But not until years later and I heard something similar. I'm not like, oh, so if we take out time to be with God so much so that we are there in sincerity Come on. When you leave, people will see. They will know. 
and it will be, it will show, it will stem off into us. Praise the Lord. Another thing is, right attitude is based on humility and not pride. Hey, this one. This one. It's based on humility and not pride. Many people have a privilege to be in a privileged position. And the next thing, uh, I've arrived. Nobody can talk to me again. I'm this, I'm... You now become somewhat unapproachable. Bad attitude. Bad, terrible attitude. Because we are forgetting that there were things that we were doing that brought us up to that point. So because we've now got to that place, we now forget about that. Okay, I'm here now. I can forget about it. What a lot of people forget to, to understand is it's not the work that you do to get to where you are. It is what you do to maintain that tempo such that you do not fall. That is most important. That's how we see that a lot of people will rise up from time before you know. Just the way they came. They go. Attitude. A positive mind. What is your mindset for pushing to get to a position? Okay, you are you are attaining, you are pushing to get a promotion or you are pushing to get lifted up or something. What is the, your motive for wanting to be there? What's your motive for wanting to be there? Those are things that stem us, that, that, that guard the way we behave when we eventually get there. If you have a bad motive or a bad mindset for wanting to be in a position, you will not last. You won't last. Okay, you feel like, okay, you're a subordinate, subordinate at a time, and you feel like, ah, this old guy has showed me Pepe, he has done this and this. You now had a privilege to now be in that position. Instead of you to now make it easier for people that are coming behind you. You now say, me too, I pass through this. Let them also too. That's it. brother, sister, and you are a child of God, and you go to church, you will not come to church, you lift up dirty hands. Sing. Because the hands are not holy, they are dirty hands. Because our heart. It is what we allow to fester inside of us that comes out. So, in all we do, as much as it is by faith and it is by humility, what do we allow to sink inside of us? Because it is what we take in that becomes what we give out. So if you are the one kind of person that does not filter whatever it is that you allow to come into your heart, you don't filter every information, this one is loud. Ah. There will be pollution. There will be confusion. There will be no direction. That's why we need to be intentional about how we want people to see us. We need to be very, very intentional about how we want people to see us. Praise the Lord. Now, the third thing is positive thinking and right attitude are reflected in our words and actions. They are reflected in our words and in our actions. I the type of person that you like to you like spotlight. Any small thing, I want our bear. That we did here. 
any little thing. Hey, we are the one that I was part of the people that did this. Hey, hey, we were the ones that did this one. Hey, brother? Who cares? Who cares? Because these are the things that we see in the life of the youth of nowadays. Everybody wants to be in the spotlight. Everybody wants to be popular. Everybody wants to blow. But you don't know that there are processes. There are procedures. All those people that you see that you, you say they blow. They did not just blow. There was a process. I was listening to one of these comedians, The Stalker. He said, before he got to where he was, he started out, he's a graduate. After graduating from school, he didn't get a job. He started doing Okada. He does Okada, he doesn't charge. He doesn't charge. He will take people, he will take you to where you are going to. If you ask him how much, say, anything you give me. It sounded funny. But he did it for a while. From there, he became an undertaker. He carried cops. He said that was where he learned how to dance. No, it's funny now, but it's a process. I'm, I'm, I'm learning from It's a process. Because now you see him dancing on stage. You see him doing the, adding that to his performances. And you think he just woke up and it was a process. He met somebody you, you, like that, like that, like, till he got to the point where he is today. But our Gen Zs, like they call themselves, you want to wake up and see 20 billion on the floor. Who will forget it there? You want to wake up and miss 20 million on the floor. Who will leave it? Just wake up and give our and give ourselves unnecessary trouble, unnecessary problem. You'll be running after what is not important. Build yourself, build character, build mindset, build all this. No. But you will see them on Twitter. Every small thing. Something that you cannot tell the person to their face when you see them. Something that if you see the person one on one, they do not. So don't, don't let me. You get what I'm saying? You cannot. You dare not say it. And we feel like, yes, we are woke. We are living the life. We are the, the ones that are happy. You are killing yourself. This, this generation lack honor. Lack respect for the elders. And this life is a beating. If they do not pass the beating to you, you will work from now till next year. Nothing. That's why in all we do, we should not forget the place of honor. We should not forget the place of honor for the elders. It is very, very, very important. You see a lot of people run to Dio, Daddy Dio, and when Daddy Dio says, God bless you, and you see the person jubilate, you think it's a joke. You think it's a joke. That God bless you alone. <laughs> Do you know the amount of doors it can open? But we, we forget things that are important and worry about baseless things. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. I've run out of time. Because I was there was something that was paining me. I don't need to say it out. Now, quickly, practical steps to cultivate positive thinking and right attitude. The first of all, like every other thing, we need to read the word of God. There is nothing that, wants, that has happened that is happening in this life. 
that has not happened before. There is nothing that has happened in this life that, that, has, that you will not find in the Bible. So, read the Bible. Pray constantly. And ask God to fill you with his peace and joy. Praise God for who he is and thank him for what he has done and will do. These are ways to cultivate a positive mindset. Then most importantly, surround yourself with positive people who will encourage you and challenge you to grow. Surround yourself with people of like minds, people that have a goal. People that knows where they are going. Not those that are following social media trend. Avoid negative influences that discourage you and drag you down. Avoid negative influences that, that discourage you and drag you down. A lot of my friends ask me that I know I'm no longer active on social media. I said, there's nothing there. It's just distraction. Those, all those lives that you are seeing, they will only post the glitz and the glam. Many of them are taking Gary inside their house. And you're here killing yourself. But those are the people that we are looking up to. Everybody has their own race to run. You can't run ahead of your time. Praise the Lord. Speak positive words that affirm yourself and others. And then act positively by doing good deeds and serving others. This one, we feel beautifully at it. Nobody wants to serve. Everybody wants to be the leader. Forgetting that leadership also is about service. If you can't serve, you can't lead. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So, let us pray that God will help us to build positive thinking and right attitude for life. It should be our everyday prayer. Aside from walking towards it, it should be something you pray about every day. Because the more we pray about it, the more God makes it easy for us. We should also ask God to renew our minds. We can see Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2. Romans 12, 1 and 2. We can also see Philippians 4, 6 and 9. Those are the Bible readings that we had. But we can also take our time to study on those things. There are, there are instructions there that can help us to properly build a right mind. And the Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. Let's buy it and say, Father, help me to live aright in the name of Jesus. Help me to have a positive mind in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Please, let's give a round of applause to our brother. Thank you, Brogbalan, for the message. And I pray the anointing of Lord of God will continue to flow over you in Jesus' name. And I pray that the word that we have heard shall continue to transform us in Jesus' name. So today's message was centered on building positive thinking and right attitude for life. And then to build positive thinking and right attitude for life, we must engage in the process of renewing our minds and to undergo a thorough change in our thinking and attitude. But we cannot do that on our own, which is why we are going to rise as we open our hearts to our Heavenly Father in prayer. We are going to seek the Holy Spirit, our helper.
are going to tell him to fill us, to fill us with his presence. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Now we're going to invite the Holy Spirit into our midst as we pray. Because only Him can transform us truly from inside out. Let's, come, let's call upon the Holy Spirit and begin to pray. Let's begin to pray for a deeper connection with Him. Even as believers, we have this, the privilege of the Holy Spirit in us. But we need to be connected with the Holy Spirit to feel His nudges, to hear Him. Let's invite the Holy Spirit into our lives to come and guide and empower us. I want us to open our hearts to his presence. Let's ask God for the grace to walk closely with the Holy Spirit, following his guidance in all things. Let's pray that God will take out anything in our life, any spirit in our life that is hindering us from surrendering to the Holy Spirit completely. Let's pray to God to guide us in renewing our mind daily through His Word and His Holy Spirit. also for the wisdom to discern his will in our thoughts and our actions. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In the book of Luke chapter 5 verses 37 to 38, it is written that, and no one puts new wine into old wine skins, or else the new wine will burst the wine skins and be spewed, and the wine skins will be ruined. But the new wine must be put into new wine skins, and both are preserved. This parable that Jesus spoke of here is just warning us against trying to mix our old ways with his new teachings. Just as you can't pour new wine into an old wine skin, because they can't, ex they can't expand to accommodate the fermentation process. This is the same way we cannot follow the path of Jesus and continue to tread in our old ways because it will lead to destruction. Now we are going to pray to God and say, Father, please forgive me of my old ways and create in me a new heart. ask God for his mercy and pray for him to cleanse us completely of our old ways that we may be able to accommodate his new teaching in our lives. Let's ask God to help us to walk in step with his spirit ready to receive the new wine of his teachings and grace. Let us ask God to renew our spirits that we may walk in his ways and be pleasing in his sight.
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, we are going to ask God to help us to cultivate a positive mindset in all situations. There is no, decide, there is no denying that certain situations influence how we think and how we act. Thinking positively does not mean that we will not deal with difficult situations, but rather we embrace an attitude of hoping and trusting in God. Now, we are going to pray to God to help us to maintain a positive mindset in all situations. Even when things are not going well, let's pray that God will grant us the grace to keep trusting in him and to remain positive. That Satan will not steal our joy away. Let's ask God to grant us the strength to overcome negativity and find joy in him at all times. And also, let's pray that God will help us to be a source of positivity and love. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, we are going to ask God for the grace to maintain the right attitude in all situations. Our attitude towards serving God, even our attitude as we go about our daily activities, will either make us or put a person in the path of destruction. It takes the grace of God to remain upright and having the right attitude in all situations. Now we are going to ask God, Father, please transform me and help me to maintain the right attitude in all things. Let's ask God to help us to remain his children, focusing on what is right, what is noble, and what is of good repute. Let's also ask God for the strength to resist conforming to worldly standards. Let's ask God to help us to walk in the way that he has, helped, that he has designed for us to tread. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Some of the habits that hinder us from having the right attitude, at times we see lack of focus, laziness, distractions, procrastination. At times we feel like people around us are moving forward, but we are just on, we're just stagnant on that point. Now we're going to open our mouth in prayer that God should purge us of any hindrance to having the right attitude in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. to be proactive children that will bring glory to his name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. One Bible verse that I really love and I draw strength from is Philippians 4 verse 13 and it says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Not just some things, so all things are possible in God. So we are going to pray that because there are some points that we will find ourselves in challenging situations. But then the strength will keep going on to keep pushing no matter what. It's only God that can give us. At times we see some situations that happen that even drive someone through the ugly road of depression. Now we are going to pray to God to grant us the grace to remain positive and resilient in difficult times. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Let's ask God for the strength and courage to face adversity with faith, knowing that his power is at work within us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. As we, grant, as we round up now, we are going to ask God to grant us a mindset of gratitude and contentment. 
when we are discontent, that's when we begin to see other people that are think this person's own is going like this, but my own is not going this way. So we are not going to ask God that God should help us to grant us a heart of attitude at all times to be content in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Jesus name we have prayed our father in heaven we have come to thank you Lord for the word we have heard from you today we thank you from your for your children whom you have used as vessels to minister to us today we pray Lord that you open our hearts to the message we have heard today I will pray that you let it speak directly in our lives putting us through in your ways in Jesus name we pray, Lord, that you transform our hearts, O oh Lord, from inside out. We pray in Jesus' name that you remove every form of negativity in our lives in Jesus' name. Father, we pray, Lord, that you will fill us with your joy and peace as we trust in you so that we may overflow with the hope of power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, because you have overcome. Glory and honor be unto your name. In Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Let's have our seats. the Lord church praise the Lord church have we been blessed this morning we don't sound sure have we been blessed this morning and then let's just pray for the minister that God has used to speak to us this morning let's first of all thank God for his for his life and let's thank God for the word that he has that he has passed on to us through him Let's thank God for the grace for him to be able to do this, for bringing him to his house this morning. Father, we give you all the glory. And let's ask that God should continue to be with him in all that he does. Let's ask God to continue to bless him and enlarge his course. Let's ask that God will continue to give him that right attitude, that positive mindset, that positive thinking, that he will not lose it in the mighty name of Jesus, that the enemy will not, will not sow any seed of sadness, the enemy will not sow any seed of negativity, the enemy will not sow any seed of evil into his life in the mighty name of Jesus, that he shall continue to grow in the word of God, that he shall continue to expand in the knowledge of the things of God. Let's pray that God will continue to be with him and he shall not fall off in Jesus' name. That the word that he has shared today will not stand against him on the day of judgment in Jesus' name. And that the anointing of God over him shall continue to overflow in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. It is offering time. It is offering time. If you look at the pocket of the seat in front of you, you will see an envelope. One is for the love offering and one is for the seed offering. So please bring out your offering and put it into these envelopes. And put something tangible and give to God. The Bible says give and it will be given unto you in good measure. Press down, shaking together and running over. And it says what you sow you will reap. So please let us give God something good. And most importantly, let's not just dance here for dancing's sake. Like we are forced to come out. For, no, for like for, for fun but let's come out with a grateful heart there is no there is no amount of money you want to give God that is bigger than that genuine heart of thanksgiving so as we are filing out now please let's come out with a genuinely grateful heart and be filled with gratitude to God as the choir leads us in a melodious song Hallelujah. let's rise to our feet please <laughs> O si baba bi re o ma se olorun bi re igwe o so baba bi re o si baba bi re o ma se olorun bi re igwe so bi oba la oba to ga e pe baba so bi o ni ma gbe oba to ga e ba bi gbe olorun so bi oba la oba to ga e pe baba so bi e ni ma re oba to ga Chuku, Omanecha, Akudechemba, Wa, Ulea, Elu, Ulea, Jesus, 
the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. It's time for announcements, but before we move on to that, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome those who are worshiping with us for the first time. So if this is your first time in House of Glory, please signify by waving your hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise on your feet. Please come forward. Come forward. Let's welcome you. Welcome to the House of Glory, and we have the tradition here that for the first time, timer's gift would ask you to pray, pray a prayer that God would definitely answer you as a memory for today. And I'll ask all of us to pray and commit them into our hands that even as they've come here, that they are feet have walked into the blessings of God. That their feet have walked into God's goodness. That their feet have walked 
into, into God's blessings, that God will establish them, that God will bless them, that God would move them and grant them peace, that God would grant them their deepest heart desires, and that they are coming here will be an encounter with God that they will always remember. In Jesus' mighty name that you have prayed. So once again, you are welcome. Um, you can return to your seats. Um, let's put our hands together for them. And let's pay attention as we take the following announcements. So once again, you are welcome to the House of Glory, RCCG. And our services go as thus. So every Sunday like this, we start our service at 8.30 with Sunday school. So Sunday school is not for children. It's a time where we share the word of God and we teach ourselves the word of God. This morning like this, we're talking about what the Bible, the Bible descriptions of sin. And we went into details, talk about the types of sin and how we can free ourselves from the punishments of sin. So it's very important. It really adds to our service and I encourage us all to make um, a point to attend. It starts from 8.30. So right after that, as we move into our family service, which starts at 8.30 to 11.30, um, which we are in here about now. And here we have various services. Today is youth service, as you may see. And as the week goes, we have a variety of services that we engage in. Later in the evening on on Sunday as well, we have house fellowship at our various house fellowship center. One holds here in church. So if you happen to be in the estates, please make it here by 5 p.m. to join them to share the word of God. If you live around Johnson Street as well, you can come to Fort Johnson Street. And if you're in Ikorodu, our Ikorodu family is there. You can join them for house fellowship. Our weekly services also go as thus. On Mondays, the prayer champions meet here to pray from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So if you have a burden to pray, you can join us. Or if you have a prayer point, just drop it in a prayer box in, in front of me and we will join you in prayers. On Tuesdays, we have our Digging Deep service from 6.30 to 7.30 where we study the Bible. It's a Bible study meeting, so we come here. And over the past few weeks, we have been doing the doctrines of the RCCG. So last week was our fourth part. I don't know if it's over, but just join us this Tuesday um, to study the word of God. And if you're unable to do so, we stream it on our social media platform. So just make it a point. There's no excuse. Just we have given you various forms either physically or virtually to join us. Also on Thursdays, the same time from 630 to 7.30, we have our faith clinic. And this is a time where we bring our problems before God and we pray and God answers us. So join us every Thursday to pray um, during our faith clinic. Thursdays as well, early in the day, the women and mature sisters meet here in church from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. They meet from 10 a.m. to 9 a.m. to pray and to share the word of God. So make it a point that if you have some free time, please make it a time. You know that when our women pray, God answers. So please make it and God, you see the wonderful things that God will do for you in your life. Moving on to our monthly programs. On the first day of every month, we begin the month with Jesus from 6 a.m. to 7, um, from 6 to 6.30 a.m. So we meet our, to commit the month into God's hands so that he leads us into the month. Um, fortunately for us, the first day of this month was a Sunday, so we met here and we prayed. So we just make it a point every first day of the month. It's usually on mix salary if you don't um, have the visual on mix salary. So just join us and pray. Just 30 minutes. You're not, you're not at work. You know, just, just join us. Drop on your phone and, and listen in and, and pray with us. Um, every second Friday of the month, which was just yesterday. We had our Bethel vigil yesterday. Um, it was a wonderful time in the presence of God. 
is a Friday is from 10 p.m. Then we followed up in the morning, second Saturday of every month, is the Bethel hour as well from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. as well. So let's note these programs and attend. And as we do so, God will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Every third Saturday of the month, we have our provincial program, the sweet hour of prayer. We meet our provincial headquarters in VI from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, it's, yeah, you say it's, it's at a province and you don't really have to worry about transport. If you really want to go, just make it a point to let, um, let us know ahead of the event and we will make transportation available to you to join us for that prayer. And it's not only for workers or ministers, it's for, it's open to all of us so we can join. So if we are free every third Saturday of the month, please make yourself available to go and pray. Every last Saturday of the month, we have our evangelism as well from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. This again is for all of us. And let's make God's kingdom business our business. Let's make ourselves available to win souls for Christ. Then every third Sunday after the service, the Re Redeemers Men's Fellowship and the Sister Prayer Meeting holds after service. I think that will be next week. So, no, it's actually even today. No, today is the third Sunday. So, it is today. So, right after service, um, Men's Fellowship, you're reminded, please don't run away after service. The sisters as well, please let's stay. Let's pray. Let's come together and let's pray. Every last so, okay. So our baptism, our believers and baptismal classes are also holding. Workers in training, school of disciple, are also holding. If you are interested, please see Pastor Yeku um, after service to get yourself. We want workers in this church, people who are willing to serve God. So if you are interested, please see Pastor Yeku after the service to register. And also, do follow us on all our social media platforms. Facebook, YouTube, MixLR. We are there. Just follow us so that you can get notifications when we go live on our broadcast. So finally, there's a special announcement. There's a wedding coming up on the 11th of November. Put your hands together. That's how, you know, God has, has done them. So it's from our brother and sister from House of Mercy. Um, Christina and Ayomideji. The wedding would be holding in on those dates. Utukupa. Right. So let's make it a date. We will put the notice on the notice board. S for those who want to attend, you can see it on the notice board with the notice um, so that we can make ourselves present. If there are any other special announcements, I'll pass it to let us know. Thank you. That clap didn't sound you are excited. It didn't show you are happy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You see, one thing you can do to your spirit and soul is that each time you come to the presence of God, make yourself happy. Find something that excites your soul. Because if you are not happy here, where will you be happy? This world? We want to thank God for those of us that are here. And if he tarries in the second coming, we will see you here again. Say God will be. That means you, did you win lottery? It's excited. Maybe Jesus has touched her. Uh, additional announcement. We're going to have what we call the ministers and workers meeting at the province next Saturday. And that is when we're supposed to have the sweet hours of prayer. 
so there will be no sweet hour of prayer. But workers and ministers must be there. Instead of two hours, sweet hours of prayer, this one will be a whole day. They will give you food. Because it's a workers meeting. And so please let the workers find a way of asking for permission to leave your place of work. Because there are some things, you know, God says, give unto Caesar what is Caesar. Let God know you are on his side. Praise the Lord. Well, we, we've been re receiving communication about Vision 2032. How many of us have heard about Vision 2032? We don't hear. Aga uh, Osha, we're going to have signage on Vision 2032. You can see me. And we'll paste everywhere so that they will be seeing it. We'll, in fact, we'll put it here so that when they close their eyes, they see it. When they open it, they see it. And part of that project is that we are expected to have a minimum of 100 attendants in our churches. My problem now is you will see new converts, 10, 11, 9, 8. The following Sunday, you will see them. I say, where are the old ones? Do they get converted and disappear? God will help us to keep them. And you see, the only way God will keep you is to perform a miracle in your life. You know that miracle will keep on bringing you because you want the next miracle. So I pray, especially for the first time at today, the God we serve, the God of redeem, will touch you and give you a miracle that will enjoy in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to thank those who are inviting new people. I saw Godwin bringing some people this morning. So God will renew your strength and multiply you on all sides. So please don't let's forget. So where you are sitting, if your friend you sat with last week is not the one you are sitting with today. Find out what happened to that one. And when you are coming to church on Saturday, call your friend. I hope we are meeting in church on Sunday. Don't call them in the morning. Maybe they've committed themselves to something else. Call them in the evening so that they can prepare themselves and they will be here. Praise the Lord. Next Sunday, because it's a special Sunday, we have uh, five Sundays in this month. So next Sunday will be what we call Praise Sunday. I thought you'd be excited. That day, what it means is praise. There will be no much to range as we are speaking. We will sing and praise the Lord. Uh, I will discuss with the Corinthians. I'm missing them today. If they cannot sing, we can go and hire a singer. But next Sunday, we're going to praise the Lord. And you see what the scripture says is that when you praise the Lord, then God arises for your sake and gives you solutions. Put an end to the problems in your life. So next Sunday, we're going to... Uh, but you see also, you must go and start practicing how to dance. <laughs> not that they are singing and you are not dancing. That would be a mismatch. Praise the Lord. Let's stand up. Usually on Sunday for my benediction, I usually ask God, what is it? And this morning, what God was telling me is like a battle cry. How many of us are familiar with Psalm 35? Psalm 35. Uh -huh. That's what God said. And it's a battle cry. Put Psalm 35 on for them to read. You will see that God means business. You know, during the VG, we said enough is enough. And so when God is bringing Psalm 35, he's saying truly enough is enough. Because God says he will plead your cause. He will strive with them that strive with you. He will fight against them that fight you. Because enough is enough. You cannot win the battle. It's only when God arrives and fight the battle that he will put an end to it. Praise the Lord. So when you get home, please read Psalm 35. Pray with it. It's a fire prayer because it will cause the enemy. It will ask the enemy to die. Let them die. Is that okay? So thank God for this service.
thank God that you are here today. Just tell God what he has done, how he has touched you, the prayers you have prayed that he has answered, the miracles that is waiting on the way. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. I'm going to call the prayer point. I will ask you to pray it well. And when you finish, I pray it at home. Like I said, it's a battle cry. Say, Father, Father contend with those who contend with me. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, we said enough is enough. All those who are waging war, those unrelenting enemy of my life, contend with them today. In the name of Jesus. Because enough is enough. Contend with those who are contending with me. Those who are not happy that I'm working. Those who are not happy that I am married. Those who are not happy that I have children. Father, contend with them. Put an end to their enterprise. In the name of Jesus. Let them know you are my God. In the name of Jesus. Father, arise, O oh Lord. Contend with those who are contending with me. Be enemy to those who are my enemy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Some of us, I hope you understand it. Say, Father, Father with your shield and buckler, stand up for my help. In the name of Jesus. He said, Lord, take your shield and buckler. Shield and buckler are for destruction. They are for battle. So he said, God, stand up for my battle. Fight my battle for me, O oh Lord. He says, I will fight your battle and you will hold your peace. Father, arise with your shield and buckler. Fight my enemy. Stand up for my help, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, I need help. Stand up, O oh Lord, with your shield and buckler. Help me, help me, help me, help me, O oh Lord. And let your name be glorified in my life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, Father, Father stop, the way stop the way against them that persecute me. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Stop the way. The, whatever they are using to persecute me, put an end to it. Stop them, O oh Lord. Those who are persecuting me, stop their way. Stop them on the way. Lay ambush against them. In the name of Jesus. Lay ambush against those who are persecuting me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. This last one I will explain it before I call it. You know, as part of those things, when the, the psalmist was writing, he said, you know what? He said, Father, let the part of my enemy be slippery. He said, let the lamb be slippery under my name. He said, let the way be dark for them. He said, let the angel of God pursue them. Now you can know the danger. The road is dark. The road is, the ground is slippery. And then the angel of God is pursuing them. How would they escape? They are in trouble. And I want you to pray. Because I don't know why God brought it. Because this is your day of deliverance. Enough is enough that the enemy will continue to profit over your life. Uh, it may sound strong, but it's God. Uh, it should be it's God that will fight the battle. It's not you. Say, Father, Father let the part of my enemy be dark and slippery. And let your angel pursue them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, let the part of my enemy be dark and slippery and raise up angels to pursue them. Pursue them into their destruction. Pursue them so that they cannot pursue me again. In the name of Jesus, let their path be dark, O oh Lord. Let their ways be slippery. In the name of Jesus, let their path be slippery, O oh Lord. Every enemy of my life, I send an angel to pursue them. Let your angel pursue them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for today. We thank you for our youth. We thank you for the words we've had. We thank you for the blessing we have received. May you be exalted and glorified in our life forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, as we go into this week, let your presence go before us. 
Lord, because you said enough is enough of persecution of trouble in our life. Every enemy of our life, Father, contend with them in the name of Jesus. Put an end to their enterprise, oh Lord. Oh, the weapon they have been using against us, let them become impotent again in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the host of heaven pursue them. That when we look in their direction, we will see them no more. Thank you, our Lord. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. As your children are going, Lord, let your mighty hand be upon them for good. Let this week be their week of testimony. Their week of miracle. Their week of victory. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. to yourself. Hold your face. Say grace, mercy and peace will be with me from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and in love. Amen. May the presence of God go with you. May he lift up his countenance upon you, bless you and prosper you in every way throughout this week and forevermore. Amen. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, apart from those I asked to see me, all workers should see me. It's not a workers' meeting, you just see me. God bless you. <laughs>